Hi and welcome to another video from the Enphase training team. In this video, we'll show you how to reprovision an IQ system controller if it fails to report or stops reporting to the IQ gateway. Let's dive in. To begin, you will need to power cycle the IQ system controller. If you haven't watched the video on how to do this, the link is in the video description below. Once the power cycle is complete, open the Bluetooth settings on your mobile device and verify that the IQ system controller is broadcasting a Bluetooth signal. If the IQ system controller is not listed in your mobile device's Bluetooth settings, you will need to download the DigiXB app if you do not already have it on your mobile device. Once downloaded, open the app and check the device list. Link to download the app is in the video notes below. If the IQ system controller is not displayed in the mobile device's Bluetooth options, power cycle the IQ system controller again. If the issue persists, remove the dead front using a Phillips head screwdriver. Then, unscrew the E3 board cover using a T20 bit. Once the E3 board is exposed, verify that the Zigbee antenna is seated in the connector properly and that it is taped to the inside of the IQ system controller enclosure. If the antenna is seated in the connector properly, contact customer support for assistance. If the antenna is not seated in the connector properly, you will need to reseat it. Simply push the antenna into the port until it clicks. Once secured, check your Bluetooth settings again. If the IQ system controller is still not listed in your mobile device's Bluetooth settings, contact customer support. If the IQ system controller is successfully broadcasting a Bluetooth signal, turn on AP mode on the IQ gateway. Next, open the Enphase installer app and find the relevant site. Open the site and tap connect in the orange taskbar. Then, tap devices and arrays. From here, tap IQ system controller. Then scroll to the bottom of the screen and tap retire. After successfully retiring the IQ system controller, rescan the system controller's serial number, then navigate back to the main site page and tap device provisioning. The IQ system controller will automatically start provisioning. Once complete, provisioned will display for the device. If the IQ system controller does not show as provisioned, navigate back to devices and arrays and retire the IQ system controller again. Then, rescan the affected IQ system controller serial number. If the issue persists after three attempts, contact in phase support for additional assistance. Thanks for watching another troubleshooting video from the Enphase training team. 